What's good everybody, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply the Hylian Shield's durability to a weapon and a bow, and this will allow you to then apply it to every arrow type, getting you either 80 to 100,000 arrows, depending on if you have the durability up modifier or not. This is another one of those videos that's going to take a lot of setup, so get ready, and let's get into it. To start things off, you're going to want to make sure you have even tied incomplete, or save without it finished, and have some gear mounts. Put an undamaged Hylian shield on the mount. You're going to want one weapon and one bow, and it's good to have them damaged and flashing red. This is so you can verify that the durability transfer worked about halfway through this. Now put the shield and the gear you want to corrupt on mounts. Count your number of key items, plus unsellable armor. Now count anything you can't drop. This includes all the arrow types, plus two. Once you've gotten this number, sell all your armor, eat all your food, and generate that number in offset. After you've done that, drop everything, sell all your materials, and get an autosave. Close the app, reload, and grab your gear. After you've picked up all your gear, you're ready to move on. After you grab your gear, count your number of key items twice, plus the weapon and bow. For me, this was 12. Now fast travel to the Korok Forest and generate that offset. You're gonna have to do arrowless offset generation here, but that's okay. It's just a little slower. After you've done this, drop and pick up the weapon, and then the bow, and then pick up weapons equal to how many key items you have. I had 5, so I had to pick up 5 weapons. After you've done this, unequip all your weapons, but since you might have two equipped, equip the bow and your shield, get an autosave, close app, and then reload. Once you load back in, do not sync your inventory, so don't go into any quick menus or open your inventory. Get an autosave, and then load it. After you've done this, do the same thing one more time. Don't quick menu, get an autosave, and load it. The Hylian Shield's durability will have been successfully transferred to the weapon of your choice and the bow of your choice, and you're ready to move on. I know that the durability was transferred because my tree branch was damaged beforehand, and now it isn't. Once you load back in, we have to get every arrow type. You can easily do this by going to the Karakara Bazaar to get everything through to bomb arrows. And then come to this spot on the map for an ancient arrow. After you've done this, offset K plus 6, so your key items plus 6. Drop all your weapons except the corrupted ones. Equip your corrupted weapons. And then head to these rocks just outside Eventide. Once you get here, if you haven't already, drop the Hylian shield. And then walk towards Eventide and get an autosave. Once you've gotten this autosave, enter the trial and grab two weapons. After you've done this, Make sure you unequip the weapons, load the autosave, and then don't quick menu. Wait 30 seconds, head forward again, get another autosave, and repeat, this time grabbing 4 weapons. Once you've grabbed the 4 weapons, load the autosave, don't quick menu, get another autosave, enter the trial one last time, and this time grab 6 weapons. And after you've done this, load one more autosave, without quick menuing, get one more autosave, and then warp to Hitano. After you get here, get 6 materials and cook them, and then load the autosave. You should load in, and if you did everything correctly, all your arrows should be corrupted with either 80k or 100k. From here, you can protect an autosave, eat all the food, offset 2 extra slots to cover the weapon and the bow, and then load your main save. If all was done correctly, you should load into your main file with your corrupted weapon, bow, and arrows. Congrats. You now have all the arrows that you would ever need in Breath of the Wild. Just make sure you don't pick up one, as it'll take your count down to 999. And with that, that is going to be the end of today's video. One thing to mention is, if you're having trouble with the end of this video, you could even just transfer the corrupted weapon and bow to your main save and then use this method that I have on my channel to corrupt your arrows. 
as that could end up being easier for you than going to Eventide. This is probably going to be my last inventory slot transfer video as, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of burnt out with this glitch and I've pretty much covered everything that is extremely notable with it. So yeah, I'm moving on to other things now. One of those things being a combat montage because that's one of the things you guys voted on in my recent poll. So I'm going to start gathering clips for that soon. So keep a lookout in case you see me live doing just that. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider becoming a channel member, as it greatly helps me out, because these videos take a while to put together. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.